over to the Mastercraft oh. kitchen and Tim Reid, our Master Chef, is luckily here to fill in for Mark. But what is Bang Bang Chicken? Bang Bang Chicken is a spicy shredded chicken from China. Yeah? I'll Good. get into it then. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Good chat, Mike. Uh, <laughs> uh, so basically all I'm going to do uh, to start with is poach some chicken. Really simple. Got a pot here, some chicken breast getting thrown into the bottom of the pot. I'm going to top it with about six cloves of garlic. Really important when you're poaching chicken uh, to use a lot of flavour. So uh, that's why we can get away with using six. And I've got a large amount of ginger here as well. Pop that in there. Top it with water. So we're covering the chicken breast. And I'm just going to whack that onto a medium heat. Bring it up to the boil. Uh, and then let it simmer for about seven minutes until it's cooked. So come back to me, I'll show you shredding the chicken and we'll all be finished then. Well, here we are in the Mastercraft kitchen with the man who knows how to cook, Tim, a MasterChef <laughs> winner. Lucky. And we're doing bang bang chicken. Yeah, we are. Yeah. Yep. Where are we at? Because I just, you were putting a lot of ingredients in there. Yeah, chicken sorry, I, I kind of rushed it through a little bit there. But what we did is we threw some garlic and some ginger yep. in with the chicken, brought it up to a boil. Simmered it for six minutes, all right? And this is quite crucial, isn't it, the timing? Well, we just don't want to eat raw chicken. Yeah, it's okay. not advisable. Okay, yeah. no, good tip. <laughs> good good uh, thing you're here. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> and so we, we just simmered that for six minutes, yep. and then I turned it off the heat, and I've just left it in, uh, in its poaching liquid, and you should be able to smell that, all the ginger and garlic coming through. Actually, to be honest with you, I have smelt that ginger floating through the entire <laughs> studio, and it smells incredible. Oh, so, yeah, no, it's looking good. It's looking good. Good. All right, so we want it nice and moist, because because right. that means we can shred it easily. Uh, and the shredding process will help the sauce that we're about to make go yeah. through everywhere and, and make it easy to eat. And I've been trying to shred for ages, shred for <laughs> summer, but so I'm looking forward to this. Perfect. Okay, right, well, so what are we going to do now, sauce? Is it yes, sauce time? Yeah, sauce time. So, or shred. What do you want to no, do? No, no, we'll do sauce first. Okay, great. And uh, I have one shallot here. Mm -hmm. uh, whack the bum in the bin. And then, uh, and we're just going to finally slice it. <laughs> Whack the bum in the bin. Yeah. <laughs> I've heard that many a time. Okay. So what's, right. no, actually, while you're here, I know this may sound really silly. No, no, what, go for it. Have you explained this before? Maybe I asked uh, Mark this. What's the difference between a shallot and an onion? Uh, shallots are smaller yeah. uh, and sweeter in flavour. Okay, cool. Yeah. Um, you still get teary. Yeah. yeah. Uh, that's just what I happens when you get watching you work. <laughs> no, you're right. Okay, so we we'll right. chop the shallot. Chop the shallot, and honestly, again, seems to be my theme. We're just whacking everything in the pot. Okay, yeah, well, that's good. Nice and easy. Nice. Okay, we've got some soy sauce. Yes. All right, we all know what that is. This is chili oil. Now, you can get this uh, from the supermarkets. Most supermarkets nowadays will have it. Um, there's kind of two varieties there's chili infused olive oil, yeah. which is really quite spicy. Uh, so just I would recommend tasting it before you're throwing oh, it in there. Okay. Um, the recipe calls for about two tablespoons, all right, but if you're not a fan of heat, you can lower that and just replace it with the other oil that we're going to be using, which is sesame. Well, I like sesame oil. Yeah? Yeah, nice. Now, look, I, I know that you've got these all pre-measured. A lot of people, they ask me, how much do we use? The yes. easiest way to get all the exact measurements is go to the cafe.co.nz. It's all there. Print it out, get it ready, or keep it on your iPad right next to you and just keep scrolling through it. Absolutely. So what I've thrown in there uh, is a little bit of sugar yep. uh, and black vinegar. Again, it's another Asian specialty that you can get at supermarkets these days. Uh, or the alternative, you can use a little bit of balsamic vinegar and the remaining and white wine vinegar if you got that in the pantry. Good tip. Good tip. It's full of good tips. Okay. <laughs> Try to be. Yeah. This is Szechuan pepper. Now, uh, people get a bit freaked out when they hear that mm -hmm. and presume that it's really spicy. Actually, if you were to taste that, it's not too spicy. It's quite floral. But be careful because it makes your tongue go numb. I should have... <laughs> I should have waited, okay. shouldn't I? Yeah. Um, I'll give it a go. Huh? Yeah, go on. Yeah. So you you'll see that it tastes quite sweet, mm. quite fruity. But yeah, then it's quite nice actually. Give it a minute, and your tongue will go a little bit numb. Okay. But that's just <laughs> what happens. Yeah, it's all good. Oh yeah, it's quite aromatic. You're right, isn't it? Yes. Yeah. It's absolutely. Sort of bursts of little sweetness and bursts of that spiciness as well. And so okay. all I'm going to do here is okay, bring so up. What's happening now? <laughs> No, I'm there just it is, it's yeah. kicked in. All right. Okay. So, all I'm doing is I'm bringing this up to a little simmer, yep. a gentle simmer, and that's going to melt that sugar, all right, which is going to counteract the spiciness. 
okay? And Asian flavours are all about the balance of vinegar, sweetness from the sugar, uh, and then some kind of chilli, spicy hit, all right? So okay. that's all we're trying to do here. Um, and I recommend dipping your finger in once it's cooled a little bit. Yeah. Yeah, dipping your finger in, tasting it. If you like sesame oil, whack a bit more sesame oil in. That's the beauty of cooking these kind of flavours. You, you can just add little bits and pieces and be confident enough that you can do that and just get it tasting how you like it. Okay, excellent. I'll tell you what, we'll leave it right here. We'll come back, finish it off a little later on. If you want the recipe, go to the cafe.co.nz. Okay, well, he's also very cute and not unlike a giant baby. Oh. <laughs> it's our very own master chef, Tim Reid. Actually, that... <laughs> how's it going, Tim? Well, I'm going to throw the biggest tanty mouth. <laughs> 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 All right, so what I've done here is uh, I've shredded some chicken. Now, I just thought I'd show you guys at home how to shred the chicken. I use two forks. Hold with one, all right, and then just tear away with the other. Nice and simple, and you get through that chicken pretty quick. You can do the same with pork or whatever you're going to shred. Oh, wow. Can you just get your fingers in there if you want to? Well, it, it can be a little bit tough, yeah. So it's just it's easy to just get two forks in there, dig in, and away you go. What we're going to do, we're going to toss that. And I have here uh, the Bang Bang chicken sauce with the remainder of the chicken that's been shredded. Give that a nice wee stir. Oh, look at that. It's smelling good. I can smell it from here. All right. I want it in my dummy. <laughs> mm, it does smell good. All right. And you want it nice and saucy, so make sure you mop up some of those juices. All right. Some spring onion melt. Now, I'll take a little bit of time, if I have it, to work on my presentation yep. for you. I don't like spring onion, though. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> Gosh, I just can't get it right here, can I? <laughs> Maybe at the end of my three weeks. And a little bit of coriander. Oh, I love coriander. All right. Oh, well, that was... <laughs> Yay, we're winning. Yeah. Yo. <laughs> yeah. All right. Here we go. Oh, yum. Yeah. It's bang, bang chicken. Yay. Bang, bang chicken. Woo. That smells incredible. Okay, Thank what you. are we going to be doing tomorrow? Tomorrow, I'll be choosing a recipe from Anthony Hoyt Fong. Oh, um, Chef Anthony Hoyt Fong. He's the grammar old boy, isn't he? Yeah, yeah that's right. Um, so we're going to be going back to school tomorrow. Nice.